We made a deal. Now go. Before it's too late. No, it is too late. What a stroke of luck I hadn't hoped for. I'll have him sleep it off for a while. First, I have to get our little conversation out of the way. You are Chivatma, aren't you? This is the first time I've met you in this manifestation, Ikea. Or should I say, Louise Mayrink. Curiosity has caused you to chase us so tenaciously. You should have left us alone. I can't do that. I can't leave dangerous elements, like you wandering, even if I have to chase you through the Milky Way. My duty is to eliminate all of you. Suppose you are successful in your quest, and you are able to eliminate all of us. What then will you do after that? It is not even possible to build a ship to get out of this solar system. And, as the only remaining Zoan, you would be left on this planet. Could you stand the solitude? Yes. One day even the humans of this planet will break the law of gravity. And soon they will be able to navigate. The great sea of stars, I can wait 1,000 or 10,000 years for that. So you do have real patience. If you ride the ship we made, you'd be back home in less than 1,000 years, you know. You just said that there is no civilization on this earth that can create such a ship. It would be a different story if we help them. Oh, no. So are you the one who is abducting scientists all over the world? Yes, if we provide them with the knowledge we have, it would be more than possible for them to develop something exceeding this planet's level of civilization. Addis actually already has numerous technologies the humans of this planet don't have. How about it? Why don't you forget your silly mission and become one of us? You have just made me more determined to put an end to you. You should die on this planet. No. You will be resting eternally on this foreign planet. <laughs> <laughs>